Deftones, Entombed, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. As usual, I'll play through all the different sections right at the start, and after that, I'll go back through and give more of an in-depth explanation. Um, before we jump into the lesson, do me a big favor and hit the subscription button. It gives me a clear signal that you're enjoying these videos and would like me to do some more. And with no further wait here, let's get on into it. Okay, so at the start here, uh, even though, you know, Chino is probably playing his drop C guitar and Stephen Carpenter has his seven string or eight string, whatever, um, we can actually play everything we need just in standard tuning and match up just right. So uh, Stephen Carpenter, he's doing this tapping riff, which is real fun. And basically we're going to be up high here and we're going to just continue this note with our left hand, it's basically just an A to an A sharp there. It's the 12 to 13 on the A string. Okay, we're just gonna be alternating that with what we're gonna tap here. And uh, initially, through most of the intro and the verse, we go this way where we hit our 12, 13, and then we go on the D string and we tap a 15 on the D. Right. And from there, uh, we just take that D up to 17, you know, keeping that 12, 13 in the middle. All right. Then we just drop it down, we do our 12, 13, then we hit a 14 G. Okay, then we come up, hit a 17 G. And then we land on a 15 B. And as far as the Chino guitar, he's just kind of playing this uh, B flat major seven, which will pop up a whole bunch through the song. And we just do it down here at the one A, three on the D, uh, two on the G with the three on the B. Right. And he'll strum that and then he'll just come up and do like an octave higher now. And you basically just kind of do the same shape, just way up here at the 13 A, 15 D and 14 on the G. You don't really need to worry about the B string so much, I don't think. Okay, it just hits that, and these are all just kind of strummed and let ring throughout the uh, measure there. 
All right, and then the tapping riff uh, will have some slight variance throughout the verse, and it's not like a huge change, just kind of subtle things. Um, like for the first variant there, it's, it all stays the same, but instead of landing on the 15 of the B, we just land on the 15 of the G, so it's like... And then we just go right back to that 15 G. Okay, so there's subtle little differences that you can just tack on there. All right, and the second variant, everything stays the same, except for the last two taps. And we just basically flip them from the last part where we go uh, a, a 15 on the G to a 17 on the G. So it'll all stay the same. All right, and then from here, we just go to the 15 and then the 17. Okay, another little variant there for you. All right, big chorus comes in. Uh, Chino's kind of carrying most of the chords on this. And it's basically just going to be a, a big F power chord initially. Just do a couple strums. It'll come up to a G minor. And basically, if you don't want to hit that minor part, no biggie. You can just keep the power chord. And we're only really worrying about like these four strings here. You don't really need to go super high with it. All right, and then it'll just land on that B flat major seven for a couple strums. In the chords for the end of the chorus, uh, we just go right back to the G, and this is more just a straight up G power chord. Drop back down to the B flat major seven. Bring it up to a new one at the E flat major seven, so just that same shape. Just bring it all the way up to the six on the A with the eight D, seven G, and the eight on the B. And I even like to throw like an extra octave in there to help out make it sound bigger and just add that six on the E too. And for the chorus tapping, we shift a little bit. We're still keeping our 12, 13. Um, that's pretty much the staple throughout all the tapping here. But we're gonna come up real high now. Uh, we're gonna go B string, start at the 18, go to 15. And basically, we just go between the 18 and 15. And you can kind of hold that final 18 for a little bit. And then I think maybe at one point, he just kind of inverts it and starts with the 15. Up to you. Just kind of keep that 18, 15 going throughout the chorus. Uh, 